everything is gathering momentum you've just got to decide if what's central in you right here and now is a good feeling thing that's gathering momentum or whether it's not a good feeling thing that's gathering momentum yes yeah yeah because once we decide what we want then since the, you've already decided what you want yeah then uh, the opportunity comes the opportunity the probability the certainty of it is never endingly unfolding there are constantly 30 or 40 or 50 viable avenues in your immediate vicinity that could be absolutely accurately called on your path factors that most humans are for the most part oblivious to because they've got a frequency going on that keeps them from realizing it even though it's right there that's why it's only this vibrational shift in you that is necessary Jerry used to talk about turning thoughts to things and you got to be wondering about this you've got to be wondering since you are in these physical bodies and oh it's nice to hear Abraham Abraham is so confident in what they know about the laws of the universe but you got to be wondering so if I'm offering all of these thoughts and I've created this vibrational reality Abraham it's nice to know that there's money in my vortex but I'd like to get the money out of the vortex and into the bank and so show me how to turn this vibration into something that's tangible and we say you got to do it vibrationally and then you will be the realizer of it into what is tangible it's about you rendezvousing it's like you sensing the path you feeling the path you knowing the path you being able to see it it's all around you you're just not seeing it sometimes because you're on a different frequency how to deal with too many opportunities well here's the thing mm -hmm. if you are really centered in who you are if you are really feeling good there's no such thing as too many opportunities because you're so in the flow as they come it's like having a whole lot of dance partners whom you are up to speed with it's like watching the perfection of a magnificent basketball team Spurs Esther's slightly addicted <laughs> and seeing their heads up awareness of one another their intuitive sensing of where they are in relationship to everything else and not wanting to just stand there alone but embracing the idea of all of those moving parts for which they are ready for you see oh when you're not ready you don't want anybody throwing you the ball don't throw me the ball it could hit me in the face mm -hmm. don't throw it to me don't throw it to me fast don't throw it to me ever don't throw it to me throw it to somebody else I'm not ready yet but when you are up to speed when you are ready then you want to do that dance you see there is no such thing as too many moving parts when you're tuned in tapped in turned mm -hmm. on because you have the foresight you have the understanding you have the broader perspective you can be in the right place at the right time you see so that feeling is always a feeling that comes when there is wobble in your vibration because when there's wobble you're out of balance when you're out of balance you don't want many moving parts mm -hmm. so it must be clear and precise decision and therefore there is only one way right give us more about what you mean about a clear and precise decision so when you are excited and fire up about something we would like to instead of using the word decision we would like to use an emotional word like confidence mm -hmm. security okay. knowing a sort of definiteness of purpose I feel sure about this I feel sure about this what happens is at first you're not so sure and most humans are looking for conditions to validate them they're looking for conditions to help them be more sure well that's a wobbly platform instead of looking for conditions that therefore sort of fire you up like motivate you into positive expectation what you're really wanting is to tap in to that core knowing of your value and your power 
and once you practice that a little bit the conditions will reveal themselves to you or better said you will realize them and then you will begin even more trusting yourself you can't get it wrong and you'll never get it done but these words don't sound so good if you're standing in that tentative place so that's why we've been saying to you for a while wake up in the morning and say to yourself first thing this is a new day and I get to choose how I feel first day or two of that Esther didn't make it till breakfast until she was wobbling on one thing or another but once being wobble free became her dominant intention she learned that she could change any subject that started to wobble so fast that she would stop, stop the wobble and as she began stopping the wobble 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 there was enough in her vortex to begin calling her and once that began moving then she began trusting you see so do you accept that you are vibrational beings does it make sense to you that the thoughts that you think are vibrationally active and is it logical that you could think a thought and then contradict it right on its heels I want it but and so does it make sense to you that if you are not doing the contradictory part not introducing that wobble into the equation is it logical to you that law of attraction will take your clear thought into more definition into more detail into more exhilaration into more clear ideas you see at first the manifestation is an emotional one but right behind that come streams of thoughts really good ideas really good ideas and as those ideas begin to flow and you just go with those ideas then what happens is manifestations begin to happen around you it feels like and it is exactly like you are allowing what you put into the vortex to move from the vortex into your reality and it's so much fun when you get to be in on every piece of it as it moves in now we're out here a little bit but if there's ever a crowd that can hear us it's you we mean that we're out here on the leading edge together so if you can stand in your now like our friend before finding this emotional place and not needing to shore it up with details just feeling the pureness of the emotion of it no need to explain how you got here no impulse to talk about that so those conditions can just be left out of the equation yeah no need to explain how you got here oh feel the refreshment of that don't have to explain it justify it defend it describe it or make anybody else get it just let that go so you're just standing here oh and there's another piece no dog in the fight about the outcome no needing to define where you're going next so in the never mind how you got here and never mind no investment in the outcome now no investment in the outcome if there's no investment in the outcome you're not going to introduce contradiction to it so you already did step one you already put it there source is already fully involved in the outcome and has orchestrated circumstances and events and rendezvous beyond our ability to describe it vibrationally in a way that Esther can get it verbally in other words we just cannot tell you how much has already been orchestrated on your behalf about the things that you want no investment in that outcome not your job step two has never been your job your job right here right now just feeling the love right here right now never mind how you got here never mind how it's gonna unfold just this feeling that the path is coming to you the path is coming to you the path is coming to you and before you're aware of it there's nothing for you to do Ooh, that's the big piece you don't need to call somebody you don't need to write something down you don't need to goose it up you don't need to motivate yourself until the path is blatantly obvious there's nothing for you to do nothing for you to do and we promise you you won't be bored because 
the path will unfold and you'll know it won't be should I or shouldn't it it'll be I'm going I'm going I'm doing I'm in I'm in I'm in I am in I'm in I'm in someone will say to you where are you going I don't know <laughs> why are you so excited I don't know that either well how do you explain how bright you look I can't explain that either I've just found this sweet spot I found this sweet spot where I'm not invested in how I got here and I'm not invested in where I'm going because that is dynamically already orchestrated I'm just here in an utter state of allowing ah you get that you get that and in that state of being oh the path shows up Ooh, you feel so brilliant you just feel so brilliant you first you feel blessed oh man and then you feel brilliant and then you feel inspired and then you feel happy it just keeps coming and coming and coming you get in that state you have no idea what you mean by moving parts so many moving parts orchestrated by the universe Esther laid in bed the other morning and she thought about all the things that she doesn't have to think about like almost everything <laughs> the earth spinning its orbit in perfect proximity I don't need to think about that the, is the Sun gonna come up don't have to think about that is my blood gonna keep pumping today don't have to think about that so much already happening on your behalf you could not be in better vibrational hands or state of being it's time for you to accept the perfection of who you are and what you've put into your vortex and to stand in this place of allowing the path to show itself to you and until it does don't move <laughs> so your friends say what are you doing today uh, it's hard to explain what are you going to do today uh, that's hard to explain too well you sort of look like you're just waiting for inspiration that's it that's exactly what's going on I'm waiting for the compelling path to sweep beneath my feet and light up in a way that every fiber of my being feels the rightness of this path but before that happens you got to chill out you got to find the feeling of love more often you got to be less conditional and that's the part that's a little bit tricky if your trains going 100 miles an hour that way you don't want it to go 100 miles an hour that way all of a sudden it's hard on the contents of the train <laughs> you don't want that it doesn't need to be that way you see you already have plenty of momentum everything is right on track for you you see we don't even care I'll say this in a nicer way we are not concerned that's not accurate because we're not ever concerned about anything we don't give a rip <laughs> you can say that nicer too our attention is not upon you getting to where you want to be our attention is upon you feeling so good on your path right here right now because your life is always going to be on your path right here right now you're never going to be over there where you think you want to be because your path is constantly unfolding so when you make peace with the rightness of where you are and your life is about have I prepared the vibrational atmosphere so that I have the clarity to experience the realization then oh the people who flow into your world the conversations that you have the leading edge going into the new place again another new place and another new place this conversation has never been before until all of the universe and here you are many of you at your very first Abraham workshop and you are right up to speed with everything that we're talking about because you prepared the vibrational atmosphere and when the path unfolded beneath your feet you felt the resonance of it you did we saw you do that this is a really good time a really good time for a segment of refreshment mm -hmm.